Hey everyone, it's Mickey Made It, and I'm excited to introduce you to Inspired by Dreams, my preppy streetwear brand. See, this line is all about blending the classic and the contemporary, bringing you stylish pieces that are unique as your dreams. So whether you're hitting the streets or just chilling out with your friends, our collection offers the perfect mix of sophistication and urban edge. Join us in redefining streetwear fashion and let your style be inspired by dreams. Check out our latest collection and become part of the dream today. Okay, welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to the channel, you know what to do to the channel. Subscribe right now. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a little briefing, a little prep on this thing here. Because this is really, 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 really crazy. Okay, so you have a 16-year-old girl who is a lesbian and she's trying to find herself and because she's she doesn't know how to cope with I guess her um, situation she has problems at home with her mother because her mother is dating a boyfriend and things just get all crazy because not only does it get crazy but the miscommunication in these families and the um, just the mental health issues people that they just don't pay attention to it ends up somebody getting killed or somebody end up harming themselves. We're just going to jump right into it and then we're going to start breaking it down. So here we go. Arrested for killing her own mother. Police also said a 16 year old shot and killed her mother's boyfriend at the same time. It happened Saturday night at a home along Venture Road in Palm Bay. That's just north of Malabar Road. News 6's Laverne McGee has been following this story. She has the latest. Earlier today, we obtained a police report which reveals very chilling details. When we're passing by, they're always waiting for everybody. Mm -hmm. So it's just like what I said, it's just shocking that, you know, things happen to good people. Let me just say this, you guys. First of all, when it comes to like family and building a family, this just goes to show you have to be careful who you sleep with and who you're playing your family with because dating somebody with that just comes from a, a bad background or taking on like a crazy um just having like mental issues all the time that's not the safest person to lay down and sleep with because then it's gonna run through your family the mental issues and the trauma these things are not things that just leave and stay in one person these are things that's contagious to everybody that's around that person i just want people to have an understanding of that but let's um let's 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 check it out Column and 22 year old Matthew Snedgwick were found dead by police just after midnight on July 7th. They were responding to a 911 call about a break in, but ended up arresting the woman's daughter. 16 year old Julia Egler is accused of shooting and killing her mother and her mother's boyfriend before police say she placed a phony 911 call for help. News 6 is choosing to name the teen due to the nature of the crime and the charges he faces. Eller faces two counts of first-degree murder, accused of using her mother's 38 special to commit the crime. Number one, don't tell me these kids are not demons. A lot of these kids, the way they are raised with all this violence and everything, they have intentions and things in their mind that they want to get out and release this anger. So just plotting and on your own, your own people and at an age thinking like that, you can just tell that they were headed down the wrong path anyway. Before police say she placed a phony 911 call for help. News 6 is choosing to name the team due to the nature of the crime and the charges he faces. Eller faces two counts of first degree murder, accused of using her mother's 38 special to commit the crime. The report says Eller claimed an intruder had broken into their home, but then ended up confessing she had committed the crime. The report also says, quote, Julie was not happy with the fact that Kelly was not very accepting of her transition, and she also did not like that Kelly was dating Matthew, who was 22 years old, end quote. People in the neighborhood are trying to deal with this tragedy. It's horrible. I mean, I, I don't know the details. Um, it's just it's just shocking to know that um, that kind of violence happens, with especially with a young person um, in this neighborhood. And I just hope that uh, everybody, you know, is okay. 
it's coming to the point though where people are seeing that people are starting to realize when they see things on the news and they see things out there that's going on on social media they're starting to realize that it's coming more closer and closer to their home so i can't say that people are not bracing themselves for these type of situations but it just leaves the world living their everyday life on eggshells which is not right and i feel like it doesn't it, you can't build off of that energy and it's the type of energy that just sending these kids and giving them short time like um goals and these things that they're looking up to it's making them just say you know their life is not even worth what they they think it is you know it's a sad thing man it's really sad it's not it's, it's really more than just putting out content it's really more than just a video it's a thing that's just becoming an epidemic amongst this culture we got to change it as soon as we can that's the best thing i can say because in these times, if you see people or somebody you know that might have some mental health issues or just have some issues in general, and you can help, a, you can give a helping hand or you can maybe um, just give some word of advice that can um, get somebody out of their situation. I think that's the best thing to do in these times instead of just looking at just... Um, take from everybody because everybody else is doing that you see a lot of these people i have another um i have another reaction video coming up um later on you guys so people just doing this like a new thing is out there it's called a crash and grab so it went from smash and grab to crash and grab i'll tell you man but until next time it's your boy mickey made it love you guys and make sure you subscribe to the channel let's get it